Um, only harvest the, the, the coffee. Wow, beautiful. I think that everything yes. is delicious and beautiful. Yes, teacher, yes. Hey, lucky you. Thank you. That's so, <laughs> yeah, that's so nice. Thank well, you. Um, tell me, well, let me tell you something. Here in Mexico, we had a very important traditional day. Here in Mexico, during the weekend, we were celebrating the Day of the Dead. Yes. Do, do yes. you celebrate something similar there? Yes, in Ecuador is similar, yes. How yes. do you celebrate it? Uh, in the case of the, uh, the Indian communities, the, they have uh, many foods to, to eat in the, how do you say, cemetery? Cemetery. Cemetery, yes. Uh, in the cemetery, they are eating many foods, drinks, and others, and others, uh, because say they are remember the the different. Aha, uh -huh, the, the deceased yes. people. Yes, yes. Hey, that's great. You know what? Is something similar happens here in Mexico. Yes. Here in Mexico, for us, it is an enormous party. It's uh, one of the parties that we all the country celebrate. And well, we enjoy it very much. Yeah. The traditional drink uh, is uh, colada morada. Colada morada. Wow. Yes. <laughs> what is it? Ooh, it's uh, a mix of uh, flour of uh, of uh, black uh, black corn with pineapple uh, uh, plus uh, uh, mortinho is a, a small fruit uh, plus sugar. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's very acid, the, 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 the drink. But it sounds delicious anyway. Yeah, 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 yes. It's traditional. Wow. In Ecuador, my, my, my wife uh, uh, prepared this, this drink and invite the other, the other families to, to compare this, this, this colada morada. Yeah, to share. Yeah, uh, what the other the situation, the colada morada is, uh, um, is accompanied with uh, a guagua de pan. <laughs> wow, what is it? Yeah. The guagua de pan is the bread, uh, can the, uh, how do you say, figura? Uh, image or uh, shape? Yeah, an image of uh, uh, a guagua. You have the face, uh, arms, legs. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like, yeah. Hey, that's not only delicious, but also artistic. It, it's very artistic, yes, yes. Wow. And the, the, the family is, uh, is participate in this, uh, in, in this, uh, um, for, for do the, the what was the pan. That sounds delicious, beautiful, interesting, yeah. cultural, everything. Yeah. That's great. Thank you very much for sharing, Juan. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for you. All right. Guess what? Today we are going to talk about habits. Could, yeah. you, could you help me reading the first part? Yes. People do not decide their futures. They decide their, their habits and their habits decide their futures. Yes, that's it. The future is something that uh, we decide if happens or not. Uh, some people used to say, let's uh, guess what the future is going to bring to us. But I don't think so. The future is not written yet. Yeah. We, we write it every day. 
Okay, Mirel, welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. I'm pretty happy to listen to you. Thank you. Me too. Okay, Mirel, we are talking today about habits. But, uh, well, I don't know. What do you think about habits? Are they important? Mm, yes, I, I think mm, mm, <laughs> mm, in the positive um, form, I think the habits are um, a good, um, I, I don't know how to explain it. Mm. For example, I, I'm I want meaning about the the habit of study, the habit of have exercise, um, or um, only things positive is the uh, uh, I don't know more. <laughs> it's okay, but you mentioned something very important. You mentioned the word positive, so. Mm -hmm. If habits are positive, then we are positive. Yes, that's See? right. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Archimedes, welcome. How are you? Uh, good night, everyone. Good I'm fine. You. Thank you, Maggie. Uh, so are you? I'm fine. I'm pretty happy to listen to you all. Uh, oh, how did thank you. How, how did you spend the Day of the Dead? Oh, uh, 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 how do you say? I can say wonderful hey, because great. I I I can I can make uh, my offering offer offer and I can went to the how do you say Pantheon? Cemetery. I could the cemetery. go. Uh -huh. I, I, could could go, go. The I could go to the cemetery. Excellent. Hey, that was beautiful. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay. So, Mirel, I didn't ask you about the Day of the Dead. How did you spend it? Uh, what did you do? Um, well, I I don't celebrate the spend of the day. I have another costume. <laughs> hey, that's great. And um, how do you? What did you do? Really, I I only in my home <laughs> because I can walk very fine. Uh -huh. Hey, that's great. All right, thank you very much, Mirel. <laughs> okay, so what about um? Who's missing? Uh, well, Patty was here, but she has already. Uh, well, she's now offline. So S Z T E Blade L A. What's your name? Z T E um, Blade L A. Are you there? Uh, Diego Marroquín, how are you? Well, m maybe they are having problems with their microphones. Well, you know what? Today we are going to talk about habits. Uh, we were sharing this quote that says that people do not decide their futures. They decide their habits and their habits decide their futures. So, um, what do you think about this, uh, Juan? I am agree with with this uh, this, this uh, 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 how, how do you say affirmation statement statement yes yes but for example if I have a healthy uh, uh, if if I, I I eat healthy every day, I don't, and I I don't have problem with my why any disease in the future. Yeah, that's it. A, yeah. a healthy lifestyle. 
yes, yes. Excellent, thank you very much. So I okay. agree, I agree with you. Yes. Okay, thank you, Juan. Juan, who's your victim? Oh, I can see Mirel, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, with that case, I am I I'm angry too because all the um, or habits what we have is uh, it's a construction of of our life and of course on on our future. I don't know. Ah, yes, you're right. That's the way the habits we have. Uh, decide the way we are going to live in the future. Excellent. Mirel, thank you very much. Who's next? Who's your victim? Uh, Patty, please. Patty, hello. Welcome. Oh, teacher, good evening. Sorry, it's because I, I have a problem with my cell phone, but I, I, I'm here. It's okay. What is the, que the question? We, were, we are talking about habits, Patty, and we say oh, yeah. if we have good habits, we will have a good future. Of course. Well, uh, I think that it, it, this is really important. Uh, I was talking with my daughter today and, and she she says something about this because the good habits are good for the future. For example, she is living at the United States uh, and today he has an interview for a green car and, uh -huh. and she's... Uh, Oh my, Patty. Patty had problems again uh, with her microphone. Okay, Archimedes, what do you think about this? Uh, I think that this uh, is true because uh, if, if we have a, a bad habits, we make a bad future. Yes, that's it. For, for example, uh, I have a, um, I, I don't have a healthy lifestyle. I can reach a, a, a long age. That's it. Yes, you're right. Thank you very much, Archimedes. But the uh, teacher, excuse me, is because I, I have problem one more time, but I'm here. And I, I was saying that uh, today my daughter was talking about the good habits in, in her life because in the interview, uh, for example, uh, they asked her about the, the habits uh, of my daughter and her husband, for example. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's really important. Oh my, she couldn't finish her idea again. All right, so uh, please, who's next, Archimedes? Oh, uh, I think that the next will be Diego Marroquin. Thank you. Diego, welcome. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late, but I'm here. It's okay, the most important is that you are here, Diego. So, Thank you. what's your opinion? Well, I think it's, oh. it's, it's really important because let's, let's say if you, have the, um, if you have the habit to be always on time for ev uh, every meeting or every uh, party or whatever, uh, that's going to be a, a good habit and they're going to give it to you a, a good future, right? Let's let's say uh like uh the lady was talking about uh, uh, i can remember her name she was saying uh her daughter it was having an interview for her green card 
if yeah, she I was, showed late, if she showed late, they denied that that card just because uh, being late show she doesn't care about the green card. So I think uh, that that habit uh, show her commitment to the new life. So I think that it's 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 gonna be a good future for her. Thank you very much, Diego. That Thank was you. so wise. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Before you have a, a disconnection <laughs> again, continue. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I was saying that the good habits uh, are really important for us. Uh, when I, for example, in our family, uh, we have the habit for read the Bible, for example, or the scriptures every day, like uh, family, together, like family. And, and our kids, kids uh, they learn about uh, that was important to learn together. And it's a good habit for their lives. Well, I think so. Okay, Patty, thank you very much for sharing. Okay, let's listen, please, to um, who else? Who's missing? Who's missing? Uh, Z T E Blade L eight. What's your name? Okay, maybe he or she is having problems with his or her microphone. All right, you know what? Let's continue. Uh, here we are going to check some uh, some of the frequency adverbs. Do you remember what are the meanings of these adverbs? Always, I mean, here it is, okay. We are talking about always, usually, sometimes, often, never, once, twice, three times, several times, every day, every Sunday, every year. Do you remember uh, what is the meaning into Spanish? Yes, for yes. example, always, siempre. Okay, thank you, Pati. Diego, what about usually? Uh, it's usualmente. Thank you. Archimedes, what about sometimes? Archimedes, hello. Mm. Okay. Okay, well, maybe Archimedes is having problems with his microphone. All right. I'm here. Okay, Archimedes, please talk to us what um, sometimes means to Spanish. In Spanish, eh, algunas veces. Thank you very much. All right. So we have also eh, often. So who's missing? Juan. Juan, a what? Menudo. A menudo. Thank you very much. Okay, so Mirel, what does never mean into Spanish? Nunca. You? Excellent. So, what about once? Uh, volunteers? Una vez. What about twice? Dos veces. Dos veces. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Three times. Tres Three. veces. This is, that's it. And several times? Muchas veces. Aha, uh -huh. varias veces. That's it. Varias veces. Thank uh -huh. you very much. What about every day? Todos los días. O diario. And diario. Todos los días. Cada día. Excellent. Cada día. Excellent. Pretty good. What about every Sunday? Here we are. Cada domingo. Cada domingo. Cada domingo. Oh, yes, uh -huh. it could be cada domingo or it could be todos los domingos. Los domingos. Okay. Yeah, that's similar. Okay. You. And what about every year? Cada año o todos los años. 
What? Excellent. Thank you very much. Do uh, you know what? The way we are going to use it is very simple. Uh, do you remember what is the structure for using these frequency uh, adverbs? Um, we should to uh, pronoun plus uh, maybe is a pronoun verb and adverb yes that's it well yeah Adverb should be before the verb. All of the time when we use the frequency adverbs, we need to uh, use the adverb before the verb. Uh, but when we are talking about the verb to be, then we are going to switch. First of all, it's going to be the verb. And finally, the adverb example. I'm going to write the example in the chat, okay? Okay, let's... Uh, Patti, I'm going to, to turn your microphone off because we listen some interference. Okay, whenever you want to participate, please turn it on. No, 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 okay, okay. All right, thank you. So, my example, I am... Always happy to listen to you all, all right? This is the example. As far as we can see, we have first of all the verb to be and later on the frequency adverb. I am always happy, okay? If it is not verb to be, then there's no problem. I always, um wait for you to come this is another example ready okay have you got it okay now we are going to do some examples but please help me you are going to use the tool anotar so that you can solve this exercise uh, we are going to um, um, click on mass or opciones and then you are going to find the tool anotar. And we are going to use dibujar. For example, you are going to say, the correct answer is A, Jim never is at work. Or maybe you say, no, 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 Maggie, it is not correct. The correct is um, never is gym at work, okay? And so we mark it. Yes, could you? Okay. Okay, please. And additionally, if you want to write the correct sentence in the chat, it would be also good. Okay, pretty good. Somebody said here that the correct is Jim never is at work. Mm, what do you think? Jim, aha, uh -huh, that's it. Guess what, kids? The correct uh, answer in here is Jim is never at work. Why? Because remember, because the, if if is using the verb to be, the adverb is going to be after the verb. Excellent. Yes, that's the reason. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. What about number two? Here, somebody uh, wrote. Well, somebody selected. Did. Uh, answer B, 
We usually have lunch at 12 o'clock. What do you think, kids? Do you agree? Hello, do you agree? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes I agree. Excellent. Yes, that's correct. We are going to use, first of all, the, the verb. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We are going to use, first of all, the frequency of verb, and finally, the verb. So the correct one in here is B. We usually have lunch at 12 o'clock. What about three? Well, you said that the correct answer is she always travels by train. And guess what? Yes, that's it. You are correct. She always travels by train. All right. Yes. So let's go to the next question. Okay. Number four. Let me erase. They sometimes. Okay. Go out in the evening. I agree. They sometimes go out in the evening. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. B. B. They sometimes mm -hmm. go out in the evening. Excellent. Hey, claps for you. You are so smart. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> <Thank guess what? laughs> now we are going to use it in context. Okay. Let's go to the next image. Ah, here I have a commentary. Diego wrote, Jim is never at work. Archimedes, okay, Jim never is at work. Diego, she always travels by train. Hey, that's it, excellent. Yes, the correct one is first verb to be labor on frequency adverb or first frequency adverb and later on action verb. Kids, I have a question for you. Uh, now I would like to know how often do you ride a bicycle, for example? How often do you ride a bicycle? Bicycle, oh my, bicycle. All right, you can say, I, every, I, I ride a bicycle every day, I always. I always ride my bike to work. Okay, that could be an, an example. So please, could you write in the chat the answer? How often do you ride a bicycle? Let's write it in the chat, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, I never ride a bike because I don't have a bicycle. Okay, Mirel, thank you. I don't have a uh, bicycle. Okay. So the next one. Hey, Patty, I never ride a bike in my life. Patty, here the correct um, structure would be I have never ridden a bike in my life. Okay, excellent. So, um, Diego wrote, I never ride a bicycle. Okay, pretty good. I usually ride a bike. Okay, very good, Juan Bravo. I never ride a bicycle. I prefer to walk. To walk. Excuse me. I prefer to walk, okay. Archimedes, I never ride a bicycle. Excellent, hey, 
That's pretty good. So, uh, please, could you help me write uh, answering these questions? I'm going to write some questions for you. The next one. How often do you eat fresh fish? Okay, Mirel wrote once a week at least. Hey, that's great. Hello. Okay, Archimedes wrote, I sometimes eat fresh fish. Excellent. What about the others? Okay, Juan Bravo wrote, I eat fresh fish once a week. Hey, that was a very good example. Once a week. And Diego, I eat fresh fish every day. Good. And Patty, I eat fresh fish once a week. Okay, Diego, um, um, <laughs> I wish. All right. Okay, thank you. So, I want you to do me now another favor. Now you are going to ask questions about the habit of your classmates. How often do you uh, play tennis? How often do you uh, go vacation? Whatever, okay? Okay, Jose Manuel. Welcome, Jose Manuel. It is difficult with my cell phone teacher. I eat meat once a week. Hey, good, Jose Manuel. Hey, Archimedes, how often do you eat fresh fruit? Oh, that's a nice question. How often do you go to dance? Miguel, how often do you go to the beach? Excellent, very good. Diego, how often do you lift weights? And Juan Bravo, how often do you read a book? That's pretty good, excellent. Very good questions. So if you want to answer the questions, the questions that your classmates made, the questions that they have asked, for example, I want to, to, to answer uh, Archimedes' uh, question. How often do you eat fresh fruit? Okay, I eat fresh fruit every day. I eat fresh food. Fresh fruit, okay. I read my Bible every night, okay. I eat fresh fruit twice a day. Excellent, pretty good. Okay, excellent. So Patty wrote, I go to the church every Sunday. Good. Juan, I read a book twice a month. Hey, very good. Okay. Middle wrote, 
Patty, I eat cake only once a year in my birthday. Oh, great. <laughs> good. Hey, that's good. You are answering to the questions. Okay, Diego wrote, I go to the beach every year. Excellent, Archimedes. I rarely go to the church. Okay. Okay, any other question, kids? You know what? Now I would like you to directly ask questions to any of your classmates. Example, um, Diego Marroquín. Diego, could you tell me how often do you visit the dentist? Uh, I visit the dentist twice a year. Good. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> Diego, now who's your victim? Uh, Juan. Thank you. How often do you play football? I never play football. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Diego. Juan, your victim. Uh, I can see the names. Mirel, Mirel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have, I need to make a question. I don't understand. Mm, Juan, Juan, do you have a question? I have a question for, for her. Uh, how, how often do you go to the, the, the party? Um, uh, I never go to a party. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I I don't I don't know dance and and it's the custom of my family. It's a good opportunity to relax. I, I suppose that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I respect your opinion. <laughs> thank you. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you, Juan. Mirel, okay. who's who's your victim, Mirel? Any um, question? Yes, and maybe uh, Patty, please. How uh, you... Patty is not here. Uh, okay, and um, Jose. Okay. Jose, how do you often go to to the supermarket? Uh -huh. How often? <laughs> how often do you, do you go, go to the supermarket? All right, the thank you. <laughs> it's okay, supermarket. Okay. Jose Manuel, hello. <laughs> yes. Uh, I... it's, it's my name. Uh, excuse me. Is it with me or no? It, it, it's with Jose Manuel. Okay. okay. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> I go to supermarket uh, twice a week. Twice a week? Um, yes, this year. Uh, the, and the weekend. Excellent. Okay. Mirel, thank you very much. Jose Manuel, your turn. Who's your victim? Um, Juan Bravo, teacher. Thank you. Um, how often do you uh, to play basketball? How often do you play basketball? I play basketball uh, yes, once a year. I'm sorry, Juan. Could you repeat, please? I play uh, basketball once a year only. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay. Juan, who's your victim? Uh, excuse me, teacher. I can see the names. Um, We are missing Diego Marroquín, Patty. Patty, please. Thank you. 
And here's your question. Uh, Patty, how often do you go to the beach? To the beach? Well, I, I'm today in Tampico and we have a beach. Maybe I go to the beach uh, this week. Okay. When I visit Tampico, I go to the beach, usually. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Juan, thank you very much. Okay. Patty, who's your victim? Yeah. Oh, who's missing, teacher? Mm, we are going to start again, or, or maybe Diego Marroquín. Diego is missing. Diego. Okay, Diego, you're my victim. Okay. <laughs> How often do you, do you go to the movies? Uh, at least I go twice a month. Oh, good. Yeah, I like the movie <laughs> a lot. I like to. Thank you. Diego. You're very welcome. Thank you very much, Patty. Diego, you're a victim. Uh, we're going to keep going, uh, teacher. Mm, we are going to start again. Okay. Okay. Uh, Archimedes. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Let's see. How often do you play tennis? Uh, I never play tennis. Why? <laughs> because I don't have a uh, 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 play a camp. Uh, How I, do you say cancha de tennis? Tennis court. Uh, we, because I don't have a tennis court okay. near of my house. Okay. Thank you very much, Diego. Okay, Archimedes, who's your victim? Uh, my victim may be Mirel. Right, excellent. Uh, how do you often go to the movie? How often do you go? How often do you go to the movie mm -hmm. or to the cinema? Um, maybe once uh, a month. <laughs> okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Archimedes. Mirel, who's your victim? Uh, Patty, <laughs> please. Thank you. Me, I'm here. Uh, how often do you um, read a book? Um, uh, I read a book um, every day. Every day uh, I read um, different books, for example. I like to read. Okay, thank you very much, Mirel. Patty, who's your victim? Who can be my victim? Mirel? Oh, yeah. Is Mirel? Uh, Mirel, yes. yes. Mirel <laughs> asked uh, the question. Okay, I have a question for you. How often uh, do you go to visit to your family, for example? Um, once a year, because I live in another country, city. Really? Uh huh. Uh, they are in the center and I am in the south. Uh, so, do you live in Mexico? Yes, in Mexico. Ah, okay, good. Thank you, Mirel. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Patti. Mirel, who's your victim? Diego, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, how often do you eat uh, a fruit? I eat fruit every day, three or four times every day. Excellent. Okay. okay. Diego, your victim. Thank you, Mirel. Uh, Jose Manuel, how often, how often do you eat cheese? I usually eat cheese um, twice per week. Twice a week, okay, thank you. 
Okay, thank you very much. Twice a week is a good number. All right, your your victim, Jose Manuel. Mm. Patty Sandoval. Okay, I'm here. Do you have a question for me? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, how how often do you visit the museum? Uh, the museum maybe twice a year. I like to visit uh, the museums when I go to another city. For uh, I went the last time uh, to Natural Museum in Nueva York. It's really interesting. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much, very much, Jose Manuel. But your victim. Well, my victim. I. So, Juan Bravo is there? Okay, I am here. Okay, Juan Bravo. How often um, do you uh, go to travel to, uh, do you travel to uh, travel to another city, for example, for vacations? Uh, maybe uh, once a year. Good. Yes. The last city that you was visiting, where was? Excuse me, I, I don't understand. Uh, the last city that did you visit? Ah, okay. The last city was um, Bogota, Colombia. Good. Yes. I, I don't uh, know to Do Colombia. Like, Good. You like Colombia? Yeah. Are you from Colombia or are you Mexican? Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. But you can visit Ecuador. <laughs> mm, good. Maybe because, next time. Okay, because here <laughs> in the help the help of the world. Good. Yeah, and it's true. <laughs> we have the Galapagos Island. Uh, in the Galapagos Island is uh, uh, Mr. Charles Darwin discovered the theory of the evolution. Good, it's really interesting. Yes. Okay. Wow. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you very much, Patty. Juan, thank you very much. That was a great uh, suggestion. Yes. And tell us, well, you are living in Ecuador, and so uh, any other place that you suggest us visiting? Uh, for example, uh, Cuenca. Cuenca, where is it? Cuenca is a a big city near uh, in, in the in the highland of Ecuador. Is the patrimony of the Ecuador. Wow! Nice. Hey, that's nice. Okay. We should visit it. Thank you, Juan. Okay, okay. Juan, your victim. Uh, Mirel, please. Thank you. Thank Mirel, you. Uh, how often do you do you eat uh, uh, pizza? Mm, uh, once uh, uh, a month. <laughs> I don't like much the pizza. <laughs> do you like pizza? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Thank it's a good idea. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much, Juan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Miguel. Who, who is? Uh, I? Who's Jose? missing? Who, Jose, right? Manuel, yes, and Diego. Um, Jose, please. Jose? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. How often do you play um, a, a musical instrument? Uh, um, I occasionally the toy this instrument. 
And what is your favorite instrument? Uh, my favorite instrument is the guitar teacher. Wow, beautiful. Okay, thank you very much, Mirel. Uh, Jose Manuel, who's your victim? Patricia uh, Sandoval. All right, thank you. I'm here. Yes. Do you have to yes. a question? Uh, yes. How often do you dance? Oh, maybe once a year. <laughs> because, for example, my yes. husband doesn't like to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and the shower. <laughs> yeah. <well. laughs> or, or I can dance with Zumba, for example. No? It's, it's the only time. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Yes. All right. You know what? Uh, I think that these questions have been very interesting. Sometimes we consider that health is a question of food, what we eat, a question of sleep, how long or how much we, we sleep, what time we sleep, exercise, of course, uh, how often do we do exercise, but it is also a question of fun, how much we have fun, it's about love also, how often do we kiss, how often we hug anybody. Uh, I think that it is something magical because whenever we love very much, whenever we have fun a lot, then we can be very healthy. Okay, you know what? It, it has been very nice. I like this class because you were interacting. And so it was magical. Um, I thank you so much for attending to the class. I don't know if you want to say any commentary, to ask any question. Um, I think that was a very interesting class because I know more, uh, more habits about my partners. Thank you very much, Archimedes. Excellent. I like your participation also. Okay. Well, kids, if you don't have any other commentary or any question, I thank you for your attention and your attendance and meet you next class. Have a very good night. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, everyone. See you next class, okay? Meet you next class. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Tisha. Bye. Have a great day. They, well, a great night and a great week. <laughs>